Thank you so much for your interest in Gluten-Free Watchdog. Gluten-Free Watchdog was founded by me, Tricia Thompson, to make expensive, state-of-the-art food testing data available to you, the consumer, or healthcare professional. It is my hope that independently testing food labeled gluten-free and making the results available will allow you to feel confident about the food you eat. At Gluten-Free Watchdog, we test food products labeled gluten-free. We post all test results regardless of the findings, even when food products test at or above 20 parts per million of gluten. So how do we test food at Gluten-Free Watchdog? Products are purchased from store shelves or through online retailers. We buy each specific product in triplicate, meaning three packages of noodles, three boxes of cookies, three boxes of cereal, and so on. Samples are sent unopened to the food allergen testing facility via diagnostics in Burlington, Vermont. Each sample is tested in duplicate using the formally validated sandwich R5 ELISA and cocktail solution. This assay has a lower limit of quantification of five parts per million of gluten. At Gluten-Free Watchdog, we feel it is very important to test food using the best available assay. Currently, the R5 ELISA Mendez method is considered the gold standard for assessing food for gluten contamination. This assay is one of only two commercially available ELISAs validated at the levels used for regulatory purposes. This particular ELISA is included in the Food and Drug Administration's proposed gluten-free labeling rule as a possible method for rule enforcement. Currently at Gluten-Free Watchdog, we test three samples of each food product. This gives a better picture of the gluten content than simply testing one sample. Regardless, this is a snapshot of the gluten content of a particular product at one point in time and may not be representative of all samples. It is very important to stress that each sample should be tested in duplicate. This accomplishes two things. It helps guard against lab error and helps ensure that the sample tested is homogenized. Homogenization means that any gluten in the sample is evenly distributed within that sample. If the results of the two extractions are similar, a reasonable amount of confidence can be placed in the results. If only one extraction is tested, there is no way of knowing whether the sample was homogenized, a hot spot or cold spot could have been tested, or whether the result was due to lab error. As of February 15, 2012, Gluten-Free Watchdog has tested 150 packages of labeled gluten-free food. Each sample was tested in duplicate for a total of 300 extractions. 268 of these extractions were below 5 parts per million of gluten. 15 extractions were between 5 and 20 parts per million. And 17 were at or above 20 parts per million. As you know, under the FDA's proposed gluten-free labeling rule, food labeled gluten-free must contain less than 20 parts per million gluten. Four food products tested by Gluten-Free Watchdog tested at or above 20 parts per million. A tortilla, a cookie, a hot cereal, and a bread. It is the case that the vast majority of food tested by Gluten-Free Watchdog has tested below 20 parts per million. 
when foods labeled gluten-free test at or above 20 parts per million or contain gluten ingredients, the manufacturer is contacted by gluten-free watchdogs. We have found that a small number of manufacturers may be unaware that malt ingredients are not allowed in food labeled gluten-free under the FDA's proposed rule, or they continue to test food for gluten using assays that are not considered state-of-the-art, or they are not aware that naturally gluten-free grains may be contaminated with gluten, or they use oat ingredients that are not certified gluten-free. Gluten-Free Watchdog needs your support to continue testing food for gluten contamination. Please consider subscribing or sponsoring the site. Thank you so much.